Yo, it's your boy Adel. I hope you guys in the world is a heavily requested video from you guys who wanted me to keep up the series. So here we have it. Shout out to Anders Verschian, who went 13 0 again, 210 to 0 on Foot Champs Weekend League so far. Absolutely mind blowing. I will link all of his socials as always down below in the comments. I will pin it. So go ahead and check him out. This is the team that he used this weekend league. He changed it around quite a bit. He had Real Admores in Form 1 at right mid. Now he's got George Best. He had Neymar in the team, but now he's using Mbappe off Kem, which is interesting, but it makes sense because I feel like Mbappe and Ronaldo are actually better than Neymar this year. He's using Maldini and Zambrotta, and obviously he's changed the goalkeeper as well as he's using Ferlan Mendy at centre-back instead of informed Joe Gomez, which he did use for some of the weekend league games at the start. But yeah, we're going to be showing you them from a certain point. If you do want me to do any of your other favourite content creators or pro players, for example, want me to check out their Foot Champs games and do another sort of highlights video like this, do let me know in the comments down below and I will get back to you and try to get it done for you guys. And like always, if you do enjoy this video and you want more of it, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel while you're there. Let's try and smash 2.5k subs. But yeah, I did show you guys this and it's going to be the last five games just because he scored over... A yeah, I believe he tweeted out that he scored over 200 goals in 30 games. And obviously, I can't do an hour video talking about it with you guys. So we're going to show you the last five games because that generally is when the matchmaking gets more difficult. That's when the match gets more interesting. And obviously, we should get better games there. But yeah, 25 to 0 at this point. And this is the team that we he, that he come up against. I nearly said me. But yeah, George Best in form at Rashford. It's a pretty solid team. Obviously, not as good as his. You have to bear in mind, guys. His team is absolutely insane. He didn't have this team throughout every single weekend league. But trust me, how many people can achieve this sort of feat with that team? There is hardly anyone in the world. I believe there's only one or two people, one other person in the world, last weekend league anyway, that was able to match his record. But watch the way he plays. He is the CEO of Stepovers. That is his fam favorite sort of trademark skill move. It's going to be enough that we'll be doing a, a review on sort of how it has change and, and made effect with the new patch i don't really feel like it's going to make much difference though looking at the sort of patch notes but yeah let's look at some more of his gameplay he's doing step overs there with Vieira, with Vieira, and making Vieira look like hullet he does a bridge skill which is absolutely broken he gets a penalty there you get penalties for anything this year that that definitely wasn't a penalty let's be honest there if you rewind it and in the 28th minute the guy is 25 and 0 it's the 28th minute and now he is 5 0 up like nothing Stepovers after stepovers, ball roll stepovers, ball roll stepovers. Look how close he is doing stepovers there. And the AI, they just can't, when you're jockeying this year and you're close to them, they just can't seem to tackle. He's obviously gone all out attack and he got exposed there and conceded uh, basically a consolation goal anyway. He's doing stepovers, kind of fakes it into a pass. So he's doing a through ball while he's doing the actual stepovers. Really good there. 7 1 up. And let's see how he gets his goal here. Puts the opponent under insane amounts of pressure. Flicks it up with Patrick Vieira. Shoots with his weak foot and then obviously gets a lucky rebound, but he deserved that anyway. Does a ball roll away from the defender. That is absolutely disgusting, man. I mean, yeah. You, you'd want to play against him just to see how well you do because you, you must be curious. But also, it must be a living nightmare. I mean, the, the poor opponent is 11-1 down at this point. He scores another. It's a really good goal there. He brought us to a powered a driven pass and then, and then scores and then does a fake shot there late on and scores as well. But yeah, the game... You got absolutely battered that game, to be fair. Next game, it's a pretty good team. Again, nowhere near his levels. He crosses it. Did you just see that cross? Where the hell did he pin it? Like, pointing out from? Unbelievable. Chess it down and scores. Ronaldo, again, R9. You will see his stats shortly. I will show you them. The amount of goals he scored for him is absolutely mental. Does a fake for a bonus. Fake shot. Ball roll into CR7. Fake shot. Does a roulette and scores another goal. Absolutely mental. Vieira this time. Like I said, this is, it's as if Vieira was, was his whole the amount of goals he was scoring for him. But yeah, he, he does play 4-4-2 in game as you kind of saw his line up there. He hasn't revealed his custom tactics. It's completely up to him to reveal his custom tactics. And also, if you do copy his custom tactics, if he ever does reveal it, it won't make a difference. I'll tell you why. But yeah, 89 goals in 28 games are oh, nine. That's absolutely mental. But yeah, my point is, if you copy his custom tactics, trust me, most pros, they pretty much use similar custom tactics. Ain't going to make much difference. It all comes down to how you play. And that is where he is better than most people at this game. It's not about the team. It's not about the tactics. It's literally about the gameplay. And look at that R9 again. Five star weak foot. Really good smashing goal there onto the, uh, the near post. He does that rainbow flick with CR7 and chips it over the defender and scores. 2 0 up comfortably. Does that elastico Ronaldo into Ronaldo. They're like twins. They're in sync. Near post OP. 
Similar to last year, very easy to steal this year to score. Near post, especially if you've got players with good shot power, cancels the fake shot, reverse elastico, beats the defender and shoots across goal. Brilliant and he makes the guy quit. I'm actually surprised more people don't rage quit. I mean, the other person there conceded 11 goals and has stayed in the game, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe people are hoping for a DC. There's the next team we come up against. This is probably how, as good as you're going to get without many icons in your team. This is as good as you're going to get. Kante and Renato, they're not any worse really than Hullet and Vieira apart from the height. The height is the main difference between Hullet and Vieira. That makes them sort of stand up from any other sort of players. But yeah, it's an unbelievable team. You expect the opponent to be really good. Step over, step overs. That is extremely lucky. When you've got these players R9, CR7s and stuff, you get all of these glitches and rebounds coming for you. And this is kind of my issue with the game this year. That there is absolutely disgusting. That's why I rolled it back in slow-mo because you needed to see that. Maybe rewind that again if you like. But yeah, that is an unbelievably good finish there on his left foot. But yeah, my point is whenever you come up against R9, CR7 and Bappe Neymar, they're always the ones that they have a shot, it goes back to them. You tackle them, it goes back to them. It's just really annoying. I, I really hope they do fix it because every patch they've done so far this year has seemed to make the game worse, if I'm honest with you. And maybe you guys agree with me or disagree with me. Do let me know as well. But yeah, R9, it looks like the defender's in no man's land. He probably doesn't know what to do at this point. He, he's completely lost his mind. He tricks him, he goes left, he goes right. He wins the ball back really quick. He's really aggressive in midfield. Maybe it's because he's winning three and four, four goals um, up a lot of the time, but he's really aggressive and at them straight away, just like that. Slide tackle this time. He brings out the midfielders and presses them instantly. He is always triggering runs. Do you notice that? And you need to be doing this in the 4-4-2. If you're playing 4-4-2, you haven't got a cam. You've got two centre mids. Realistically, one of them might be a box-to-box -box and the other one just kind of a stay-back DM, although he scores a lot of goals with Vieira. So you're going to rely on your wingers and he picks him out there. I didn't even see that pass when I first watched this back. And it's an unbelievably good goal there. Definitely need to sort of watch that back just so that you can see would you have saw that pass? It's the sort of thing you need to be asking yourself. That's what separates him from a lot of players. Whenever he's defending as well, if you do watch him on Twitch, he is always right stick switching. That's what he loves to do, right stick switch, right stick switch. You'll just hear the sound of it analog like this every every second like that. And yeah, he's just really good at it. His positioning is good. His awareness, his vision. That's a fake shot there and absolutely destroys the goalkeeper. I think that was Nick Pope, probably the best goalie this year. And yeah, just left him for dead there. Hull it into R9. R9 into Mbappe. He does a lacroqueta, cancels it, does another fake shot, destroys the goalkeeper again. And it's just an easy, it's just easy for him. He's in cruise control. He doesn't even look like he's breaking a sweat when he's playing. And he just wins that game easily. 29-1 at this point. And comes comes up against this team. He's got West Morgan at the back without a shadow. And you've got to think the, the 30th game is a formality, passing into R9. He's 1-0 up. He does rainbow flick here from the short corner, which is really funny because I actually always do that as well. It always works. Try it out. If there's a first defender there, rainbow flick them. It will always animate their defender. Goes 2-0 up. Really smart shot, finesse shot there from the from the corner. And obviously gets a little bit lucky, but, but it's deserved anyway. And the opponent gets extremely lucky there. But yeah, 2-1. Maybe there's, maybe there's a bit of danger here. Can the opponent make it a bit more of an interesting game he finds Hullet maybe he's running Hullet on balance possible it would make sense to me that he has probably Vieira on stay back and Hullet on on balance because he's got some of the best shooters that's on the game obviously help you out a little bit more offensively especially in the 4-4-2 you can get quite isolated the left mid and right mid they do drop back quite deep and you've only got two strikers but yeah the opponent rage quit and that was the 30th dub of that weekend league he won 4 one like i said over 200 goals this weekend league so yeah you need to appreciate how good this guy is a lot of people sort of been saying this because of his team and stuff like that but the first weekend leagues he didn't have this team and how many people have got this sort of record it's absolutely phenomenal deserves all of the credit to him so go and check him out rank 100 in the world this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it smash that like button if you did subscribe to our channel it's been your boy there's one more thing to say safe